In this video, we're going over how to use the Fitbit Versa for Beginners, part two. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. We're back again with another video on more things you can do with your Fitbit Versa 2. Uh, a lot of you guys may have seen the first video, how to use the Fitbit Versa 2 for beginners. We had a lot of good feedback in the comments and we decided to do a part two to show you more of what you can do and just how to use this cool device. So before we jump in, I wanna show you this really cool accessory that you may wanna get. It's a really cool charging dock for the Fitbit Versa 2 and you just, Put your Versa in like this, and it links to your USB cable. You can have this right on your nightstand, and it's an easier option for charging your Fitbit. So I just came across this. I really like it, and I'm using it now to charge my Fitbit. So wanted to share it with you. Uh, in the uh, description of the video, we'll have a link of where you can purchase one of these. Uh, really convenient and inexpensive as well. So just wanted to show you that. So let's go ahead and jump in with our video today. The first thing we want to show you is um, how to answer a phone call and how to respond to a call as well. There's a couple different options you have. So I'm going to call the Fitbit and you can see when it pops up and what different things you can do to interact with it. So let's go ahead and make the call. So call is going through. Now, when the call comes through, it'll vibrate. Now what you're gonna do is put your finger on the button here and swipe if you wanna answer, or if you wanna decline it, you can just tap the red button. The red button automatically declines it. So the red button declines the call. The green button, if you swipe it, it will answer. Now you can't talk through your Fitbit. What it'll do is it'll answer the call and it'll immediately have it pick up on your smartphone. So just uh, keep in mind, there are other smartwatches where you can answer and talk through your Fitbit. You cannot do it with this one. You can only answer or decline through here, um, but you can only talk actually through the, the phone's uh, microphone. So just FYI there. Now, we missed that call, right? Now, a couple things you can do after that is you can swipe down. Here's my missed call. If I tap, I have an option to call it back or I can send a text message to that number. So I can just hit message. And there are some pre-selected uh, replies in here. There are a couple of emojis as well. Now, right below the responses, you have where it says more replies. So I can tap on these little three green dots right here. And I can either pick from one of these or I can go to the settings in the Fitbit app and I can adjust these settings here. So if you don't like these quick replies, again, you can change them on the phone in the Fitbit app. So you'll need to tap on your profile icon in the corner. And from here, we're gonna tap on our Fitbit Versa. And then from here, we're gonna to go to notifications. And then at the bottom of the screen, so this is the top, bottom of the screen, you're gonna to go to quick replies. Then you'll go to default replies. And these are the default options here. Yes, no, sounds good. Can't talk now, reply later, what's up? And your default emojis. So maybe you don't want, um, can't talk or reply later, you can tap here and we can change this and say, uh, busy, what's up? Or everything okay? So I can type everything okay and I can make that a quick reply for when I can't answer a call. So now that's saved there. And in terms of the emojis, you can select specific emojis that you want to be in your auto reply list. So you can reply with those different uh, options there. So that's how you change the quick reply um, that comes up if you miss a call. All right, so that's kind of how you interact with phone calls. I wanna show you this too. So someone did send me a text message. So I can also tap on that text message. I can hit reply. 
And so you do have these auto responses, but what you also have at the very top is a tap to start. And you can actually speak the reply that you want to send as well. So I can tap it. Maybe I don't like any of these pre-selected options here, but maybe I want to say my own thing. Hey man, I can't talk right now. And the microphone will actually pick up what you're saying and it will type it out for you and you can hit send and then it'll automatically send it to that person. So um, that's just one option that you do get aside from using the auto um, automatic ones that are in the system here. All right, so that's how you interact with uh, calls and with messages. Now the next thing I wanna show you is how to connect Bluetooth headphones to your Fitbit. So if you wanna to listen to music, you can listen to them directly from your Fitbit and right to your headphones. So I have a pair of AirPods right here. What you'll need to do is swipe left, go to the settings app. I'm trying to keep this in focus so you guys can see it. We're about right there. So settings, swipe all the way up until we get to Bluetooth. Bluetooth, manage Bluetooth, tap on there. Add audio device. So we would tap audio device right here. And then, so on, on the AirPods, there's a little button that's on the back that you press that puts it in pairing mode. So I'm just gonna hold that button for one second. And then the, the watch should pick up that the AirPods are in a pairing mode. All right, so the Fitbit just picked up my AirPods and I'm just gonna tap on the name here and now it's doing the final pair. And now they're paired. So now I can listen to music right from my Fitbit to my AirPods, okay? Now you do, you still need to have your phone with you. That's kind of the downside of this whole thing is um, unless you were to store music directly on the Fitbit, you would need to have your phone with you, but um, we'll go over some music options later on what you can do with that. But now our, our AirPods are paired and we can um, listen to music and control it all from the Fitbit to our headphones. All right, moving on, we're gonna show you now how to change your clock face on your Fitbit Versa and also how to take one of your personal pictures and make that the background of your watch in the event you wanna have your own personal picture on the Fitbit. So. You're going to need to take your phone and go to the Fitbit app. Tap on your profile picture in the upper left corner. Tap on Versa 2. And then you're going to click on Clock Faces. Click on All Clocks. And then here is the, the store where you'll find all the different clock faces that are available. Now specifically, I would tell you focus on the clock faces that are by Fitbit. These are the easiest to install, they're all free. Primarily, if you don't wanna pay any money for clock faces, just stick to what's in the by Fitbit section. So what you're gonna do is next to by Fitbit, click on view all. And these are all of the clock faces that are created directly from Fitbit. And again, they're all free. And these are all just cool different options you have. Um, this one down here has been one of my favorites. I use this one a lot. So if I wanted to change it, I just simply tap on this one. And then I'm gonna hit select. It will ask you to um, hit install. You'll wait for this line to fill up all the way from left to right. And then you'll see that your clock face is different. But look, now we have our new clock face here shows us uh, kind of a little pie meter of how many steps we've done and the date. So that's how you install one of the watch faces. Now next, if you want to take a picture off of your phone and make that your background, here's how you're gonna do that. It's just selecting another watch face, but specifically you have to pick this watch face, the one that has uh, the picture of the cat in the background and the camera. So tap on there, hit select, install, once this one installs, we're gonna to go to the settings and that's how we're gonna pick a specific picture to be the background for our Fitbit. Okay, so our new watch face is installed now. So 
to change the picture to our own picture, we're going to tap on the settings and then tap on pick a background image. Then we're going to hit allow, allow, and then here it will ask you what image to pick or where you want to pick from. Go to gallery and I'm going to go to this folder right here and select this beautiful picture of my new baby girl. And then at the top of the screen, you'll see you click on done and give it a second to reload. And there it is. Now I have a custom background picture of my little girl. So this is a really easy way to make uh, your own picture the background for your Fitbit. Now, there are a lot of different clock faces and you may experiment and try different ones. One thing I would recommend you do is if you find one that you like, after you install it, you're gonna go back to My Versa 2. And at the bottom of the screen here, under My Clock Faces, it'll show you the last couple of faces that you've installed. And basically, it'll save them as favorites for you. So you can easily jump between the different clock faces that you like. So I can simply tap on this one and hit select. And I can easily toggle from that last face to this one. And maybe you wanna go from this one to another one. I can hit done. And then I can say, oh no, you know, I wanna go back to this one. I'm gonna work out today. I can tap here, hit select. So I was gonna say that you need to save it, but it looks like it automatically saves it for you. So all you need to do is just know at the bottom of the screen, the whatever the last five faces you've used, they're always gonna show up down here at the bottom. The only part that sucks is it looks like there's no way to specifically say, I want this one to always be at the bottom. It's just gonna pick from whatever the last five clock faces you've used. Now the process used to be a lot harder. There was no way to save it. So every time you change the face, you had to go back in the store and find it all over again. So this is way easier. So now you've got a shortcut to simply jump back to another clock face that you like by just using those bottom options there. And that's it guys. So we just wanted to show you a few more things since the video seemed to be very helpful. We're getting a lot of great feedback in the comments. What I'd like you guys to do is leave me a comment down below on this video and let me know if these tips were helpful and let me know any other things you'd like me to go over. I'm gonna keep this series going. So in the next series, I'm gonna to try to touch on how to load music onto your Versa 2 from your computer um, and go into more detail on how to use the Spotify and the Pandora. Um, one quick note, it looks like if you want to use a Spotify account or a Pandora account, you do have to have a paid version. It won't work with the free accounts, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So anyway, look out for part three of this video and we'll go over specifically how to load music on there. And let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to learn how to load a credit card on your Fitbit and how to pay with it. I don't know if many people are interested in that, but if they are and I see you guys leave it in the comments, I'll definitely um add that in the next video thanks again for watching if you're not already a subscriber hit that subscribe button like the video if it was helpful and stay tuned for more videos take care and have a good one